On a daily basis, public and private organizations advertise vacancies for employment in the media. The reason is to get a diverse group of people and select the most competent. But there are reports of recruitment exercises in public organizations shrouded in secrecy and only open to a select few. Select few in this case are those who have an inroad into these government agencies by virtue of who they know. Of all vacant positions in the federal civil service and its parastatals, the Senate is trying to enact a legislation which would make it mandatory for the Federal Civil Service Commission to compile and publish a complete list of all vacant positions in the Federal Civil Service and its parastatals once every quarter. The basic guarantees of transparency and equal opportunity include the application of the publication of existing vacancies, publicly disclosed selection criteria for positions, and a well-documented process of selection through equitable assessment of applicants against the relevant selection criteria. The bill prescribes a fine not exceeding 300,000 naira, two years imprisonment or both for any person who violates the provision of the bill. Those who are qualified must be implied and there must be a process. So they will not continue to allow Nigerians who are well positioned to outsmart the process. They are children, they are brothers and sisters, they are girlfriends or boyfriends. These are the people that have been employed every day. We must not allow this to continue, Mr. President. One of the mandates of the Federal Character Commission is to ensure that government agencies advertise vacancies for recruitment. However, the Commission sometimes grants waivers to some agencies under certain conditions. But it is one thing for government ministries and agencies to advertise vacancies, and quite another for the final recruitment to be free from manipulation through Godfatherism and nepotism. Linda Kibi, Channels Television News.